Hello, my name is John Myers, candidate number 0048, center number UX412. Today I'll be presenting culture and climate change. Alright, for starters, let's define culture. Culture can be defined as a wide manifestation of societal behavior that can be seen across the world in very different, various different forms. Now, the other perspectives studied in my group were the economic perspective, which focused on the money-related aspects of climate change, how it affects it, and how it limits it. Another perspective studied was the political perspective, which focused on the various behaviors and relationships between politicians and governments, and how that affects climate change. The third perspective studied was the scientific perspective, which focused on modern technologies that are redeveloping the issue as a whole. Now, the reason why culture is so important in not only cult excuse me, climate change, but in various walks of life is because it goes hand in hand with life and the humans that inhibit this earth. Everything that we do is influenced by culture and vice versa. So this is why culture is so important. Now that we've defined culture, let's move on to climate change. Climate change is the usually natural increase and decrease of the world's temperature. Up until around the 20th century, it wasn't a very big issue. It has come about today due to the large increase in greenhouse gas and fossil fuel usage around the world, specifically in places like the US and China. Now, this issue is manifested in something very dangerous. Predictions have shown that in the near future, the world could be transformed into something that we really can't expect. There's a huge need to address this issue, which has been found by various politicians. It's a growing issue due to its everlasting impacts, such as the melting of glaciers and the rising of sea levels. Here's an example of uh, a, an idea of what could happen with the turning of the Florida coast, specifically Daytona Beach. Daytona Beach is on the east side of the image here, and it's partially underwater. Now, while this is only projection, what could turn into the future is just as scary, which is why climate change is such an issue. Some aspects of Florida and specifically Daytona Beach, which could be affected by climate change, are the agriculture and ecosystems, which are fragile and have gotten used to the temperatures and climates of Florida, the crops including that as well. Another major part of Daytona Beach, and specifically Florida, is the tourism industry. The beaches that we've seen uh, cause the tourism industry to boom, could be washed away. Erosion also playing a part. Here are three images of Daytona Beach, one from 1910, another from 1965, and one around today in 2017. You can see as the cultures have changed, the beach itself has not changed too drastically, the material. Now, this begs the question, in 50 or 100 years, what could this scene be? Will it even exist? This is another reason why culture, change, culture and climate change are so intertwined and important. The local solutions that I've provided to climate change are to confront it itself, as we've seen happen in Holland, where infrastructure has been developed and redeveloped so that it accommodates the effects of climate change, specifically rising seas, as Holland is the gutter of the European continent. The same could be applied to Florida in various different ways, although one obstacle would be the limestone and the lack of the ability to go underground in Florida. Now, there are other solutions that have been posed, such as switching over to renewables, although this would all be a treatment to a cure, to something that needs a cure. So, the viability of switching to renewables is not terribly convincing. The global, uh, the global relation of climate change is that it does affect the whole globe. No one part is safe from its effects, especially not knowing what they are going to be. So the food supply, for one, the crops and the balance that we've seen in the wild today, as well as the agriculture, could be flipped given in the next few, few uh, decades. 
depending on how the world changes. Another sector of the world that the world relies on is the freshwater supply, which could be contaminated by oncoming seas. Another obstacle in the way of our humanity. Wildlife and glaciers are another two uh, parts of the world that would likely be largely affected by climate change. As I've mentioned, the glaciers melting. So the global solutions that I've posed are solar intervention. These are some very radical ideas, but they're radical because the climate change effects are just as radical. So the first I've mentioned is the mirror, which is a hypothetical sheet and layer of material that we put in the atmosphere to block and revert the sun's rays, hopefully reducing the heat and potentially reducing the climate, which has already been raised about 1.5 degrees Celsius. Another part that of ge solar geoengineering that I've provided is the cloud, which is supposed to mask that, the effects of a volcanic eruption, which would again block the sun's rays from coming out of the earth. The third is the ocean mirror, which would be a hypothetical bubble, artificial sheet of bubbles, that would cause the ocean to refrain from absorbing that extra heat. Now all of these have various issues, but none are as great as the issues posed by climate change. So these are my sources that I've used. Thank you.